Okay guys, so for today's video, <laughs> I kind of dread this a little bit, but I want to go through these cadenzas. I have two of them just like this. Um, they go, you know, all the way down with all those things. Uh, this one is um, to the right of my space here, and then I have another one over there. <laughs> And they have, I believe, eight sections. I think today's video, I'm just going to do two or three because I don't have the uh, strength. <laughs> um, there's some things I want to find, so that's kind of why I want to go through these. These things are loaded down. So the top one just says flowers, but I think there's more than just flowers in there. The other one says letterpress, and I can see there's flowers sticking out of it. And this one says uh, kits. So they're probably kits from scrapbook expos and things like that that I've gone to. So I probably won't get rid of much in there, to be honest. That one also is kits. And then there's like embellishments or markers, stuff like that. So what I'm going to do is bring out just a couple of them, bring them out to the floor, and we'll go through them. And that is my step stool I'm going to keep in here so I can get into this huge, tall um, cabinet next to me so I can keep digging. I did bring this in. So remember my tower of stamps? This is on top of that now. And um, I labeled them. So this is Rubber Cafe stamps. I have Local King, Local King and coloring stampin' pads. And those are just other weird coloring and stamp pads. Doesn't really mean anything. I'm probably gonna change that out. These are extra stamps of life, like towards the end of the things I would buy or maybe things I got at expos or might have just ordered online. Heidi Swap, I need to be a little more specific on that because I don't have that much Heidi Swap stuff, but that's all like, um, screen printing stuff that's Heidi Swap. And Impress Jewelry is just the those metal jewelry things that came out. I don't know, I think I got them from Michaels. They have a little hammer and like letters and then they have like patina and you can make your own bracelets, which I never did. I don't even think I reviewed them. I just bought the stuff and then did never use it. But that's how I have in here. So that's one other little area you guys might be curious about. But let me bring these uh, tubs down and let's get going. Okay guys, so. <laughs> All right, let me see. I, I can't even, I don't know where to go. <laughs> let me get down here on the floor. I'm not even kidding, my tummy's hurting I'm having to go through this stuff. Okay, so these are some of the flowers that we went through last week that we found up on top in one of the bags. So definitely, obviously you just put those away. Iron on fabric sheets, this is cute. Oh, the fabrics are super cute, but I don't know what this has to do with this. So I'll put that to the side for now. This can go with Miranda's uh, stuff. <laughs> Flowers, flowers, flowers. <laughs> so this is not a lie, these are flowers. Sorry, I was just way uncomfortable. I had to re re think how I'm doing this. Okay, all right. Um, yeah, so these are from Hobby Lobby. It says, color crazy, color me crazy. Paint me, chalk me, stamp me. They're just flowers with like centers. Um, these are really cute. I don't know if I would use them, so I'm gonna put them in a de-stash area. The reason I'm just like going through these and like just keeping them is because um, I can see using these kind of paper flowers more often than other things. Oh, these are Melissa Francis flowers. Um, really cute little petite things. Why not? So let me put those to the side. These are super cute. Um, not quite my style anymore, so I will put these for de stash. But what's cute about these is that you can put them into like um, putty or mold and you can make your own or more of these, right? Basically out of clay and stuff. Oh, uh, you guys remember Flora Doodles by Petaloo? So cute. Now, I would probably use these on pages for, like, Miranda, I would think. So I will hold on to that. Um, I don't need to keep these in here, so let's put this over here. More little tiny flowers. I'm going to put the small flowers together. At least that way I can kind of see these a little better. So I don't remember where I got these, but I feel like they were, like, an HSN thing or something like that. So maybe, like, a little Halloween-y, a little, I don't know. We'll put those small flowers together. So now we're moving into things that are not flowers, but are more like, um, I'm gonna go ahead and put these to the side here. Like these are charms that are super cute. Again, not really the things I use anymore, so I'll put those to the side, maybe de-stash. Little tiny metal flowers that are kind of unique. The little keys, I'll put those in de-stash too. This is beading stuff, I need to go somewhere else. Leaves. Sorry if you can't hear me. I mean, hopefully you can hear me. Okay, I'm like down here. Uh, Kane Company. This probably went to some paper stack that looks exactly like this. I'm assuming these are by Susan Wingett. Uh, they are open. I'll put these here and I'll think about that. Oh, this is cute. Little dolls. Um, images and journal notes. So cute. 
Um, I don't know what these are, but I'll put them where they belong somewhere else. More of those little plastic flowers. I wonder if that's where those came from. Clear art stamps. I need to go look these people up. This is craftysecrets.com, heartwarmingvintage.blogspot.com, only because they had a little cupie. And I remember getting cupie stamps from them, but it was like a really small stamp set. But that's what they do. I think I have this one too, because I remember that little girl. Um, again, you know, boutique stamps are a little more expensive. They have really cute images though. So you check that out if they're still in business. You guys can let me know, because I know you guys are on top of things like this. A lot of times I'll say something like, oh, they're out of business. And I'm like, oh no. <laughs> Well, okay. These are doll eyeballs that do not belong here. Um, this is just a pack of stuff. I'll put that to the side for giveaway. What is this? Pink felt flower accessory kit from Martha Stewart. I don't know. I'll just Maybe Miranda would like this, but that's okay. I'll put that to the side. These are just a ton of Prima flowers, I think. that I don't know why I put them in a bag. They might have been from like a swap or something. Again, our Prima flowers that you have to color. I need to do a busted out on these because we don't use them as often, or at least I don't. I think these came from like AliExpress or something. They're just like um, butterfly lace butterflies and then like little uh, crocheted flowers, which I can make myself, but you know, when they're like a buck, you might as well pick them up. This is like a flower too. Cute to kind of include in different things, but again, I forget that I have them or just don't even bring them out. Um, what do we have in here? Oh, cute. These are from Queen and Company, so I'll put this with my Queen and Company stuff, but they're like Brad's that are like Mickey and Minnie related there. This is also from them. Whenever I go to their booth, I'm pretty sure it was theirs. They have like things where you can just grab stuff and whatever fits in a jar or a tin, you take for $5 or something like that. So there's stuff like that that might be in here. Um, this is Bling on a Roll that I never have used. I'll put that to the side. This is cute. This can probably go outside with my ribbons. I don't know. Not outside. When I say outside, I mean like the garage. <laughs> I have a big thing and there are probably three huge of those bins, but like the skinny kind that are just ribbon. Um, another glitter on a roll. Put that to the side. This again is also from an expo. It's just like ribbon that's like frilly. You can use it different ways. There goes the price tag. <laughs> uh, more of those flowers. I was gonna say, I feel like maybe they came from an expo. I don't know why I have these. No, well, this was stuck somewhere else. Um, no, I think this did come from Mika's then. Either way, there's that. Tons more flowers. This is cute. These are pretty, they're flucked, and the colors are really nice. Um, ensemble by something or other. I guess you're supposed to put the flowers together. And here's more of that same kind of ribbon. Flower centers. More flower centers. Oh, these are really cool. I like including things like this in different uh, projects, so... It's good to have these here together because I'll look in the same spot for those kind of things. This is very girly. I think Miranda can still get used to that. I was like, what is this? Okay. I'm not going to keep digging because obviously this is all flowers. Oh, there's some flowers that fell out of whatever this is. We'll throw that away. Um, this is cute. Noteworthy by uh, Making Memories or what is this one called? I don't know. I'll put that to the side. Um, yeah, Making Memories. This one's more like spring. There's like even little butterfly cuts in this. Kind of interesting. Um, these guys, I'm like, what are these metal things? They're pails. Pails of really pretty flowers. So you guys can remind me to use my flowers, all right? I'm not going to get to the bottom of this thing because obviously there's... Look at how big these are. Like, when are we ever going to use this? <laughs> sorry. Oh, no. Sorry, sorry. Huge flowers. Bigger than my hand. That might be cute for other reasons. And then, again, more, just more pails of flowers. Okay. So. Oh, I just shoved this in here from the other day when I used these. So, now we know. There are plenty of Prima flowers in here. And stacks and stacks and stacks of flowers. So, what I will do is put things that don't belong here somewhere else. And then, um, let's move on to the next Box. Okay, this is absolutely one of the boxes I'm afraid of. I haven't... So I went through this stuff in Poway when I lived in Poway, and that's... We moved here... It's probably been about five years since I went through everything and labeled it. So, um, obviously I just shoved this in top of here. These are kits from an expo, it looks like. Really cute. All I'm gonna have to do is bring this out just so I remember to use it. 
What I do with the paper pads is I keep them all together, my six by six paper pads. Why are the kids coming? Okay, look at the little buttons, so cute. And then what happens with these is that they're either class kits that they didn't, they had too many or from another expo or something like that. So there's instructions here on how to make a cute, you know, book or card or whatever, or cards, it looks like. So the instructions are back here. So that's kind of how they do that. And they'll sell them for like really inexpensive. Okay, flowers <laughs> goes in the other thing here behind the frame. Okay, did I show you guys this last time? Nothing. I show you a different kit. This was a frame that I made, and it, again, there's that little hanger, so cute that you know she has on clearance for like a buck now on her sh on her site. So make sure to check out Melissa Francis. Shabby chic stuff, really cute. The frame is upstairs. So somebody asked me the other day. I don't remember if it was Gail or maybe Kathy. Somebody asked me if I had um, these guys. I'm like, of course I have them. <laughs> let me let me sit down here. So what happens with these is they used to sell them obviously everywhere. Joanne's, Michaels. Walmart as you can see it was on clearance and you have this little tool that you would put this down on your Cutting surface like this one. Of course we have other ones, but look I actually used it There's a lot of cuts on here um, And you would just take the little tool and go around. So now this one's tags. This is old-school guys We have the little flowers So, you know, I'm showing you Kiwi Lane right now. So this is kind of something like that Obviously, this is a different type of template um, and then the circles you got it, you know, have your circles <laughs> Like, this is so cute. I can never part with this. I will never part with this because it just reminds me of when I first started out. And they're so cute. And I just realized they have holes. I can put them in a binder at least um, and keep it all together, right? So I'll put that to the side. I do not know what this is. This is heavy as all get out. What is this? Chip Art by Melody Ross. Okay, it's a big block. So let's put that to the side because, oh, here's my tool. See, you guys are not that disorganized. So here's the tool that goes with that. I do have refills for the cutter. So basically you go around your little thing and it cuts out the paper um, through the template, right? So I have that. So here's that Melody Ross stuff. So I don't remember buying these things particularly or picking them out. I have a feeling this came from like HSN or maybe, yeah, something like that, like a bundle because I don't remember seeing, oh, let me get this and let me get this. I don't even know what this is, to be honest. <laughs> Chip Art by Melody Ross. Okay, so there's that. All right, now here's the good stuff. Oh, I see. All right, so we use these tools and you probably, I probably have a hammer or something in here. Yep, I see it, there's a mallet. <laughs> and you do something to your chip, your chipboard and you hit it with this. I'm definitely gonna have to bust this out because I don't know what this stuff is. I mean, it would be nice for me to sell it, right? It's all perfectly, not even, opened if somebody was interested here's the water squirter here's the mallet oh my gosh how cute is this look at the handle <laughs> adorable um plenty of chipboard pieces in here um another alphabet so there's a couple of alphabets here and some more like designs that's interesting little glass jars for some reason um Okay, so on this basket, it says letterpress, and this is letterpress stuff. Look at this cleaning cloths. I wonder if this is even wet. Okay, cleaning cloths for the letterpress. Uh, letterpress, letterpress. Okay, so I told you guys, I was not sure about this letterpress, if I'm going to keep it anymore. I've never used it. I have a whole other beginner's box of, of this. It's basically the stuff that's in here, plus some other items. And I've never even opened it, but it was on, probably on sale or something, so I grabbed it because it came with more of the the dyes and the liquids that you use for letterpress. So this is interesting. So I have the roller ball here, everything that goes along with it. Obviously this is like the introductory thing, probably. I have tons of letterpress inks here. I have tons of the papers, that good thick paper um, of the, the letterpress sets, right? So I was thinking about selling it. The only thing is they're so big. I don't know. I even have the machine for it, but if I, I don't know, I don't know. I can't wrap my brain around how I would sell it because it's heavy <laughs> and it's big. So I actually see the letterpress starter kit over there. I put it to the side because I was thinking about going ahead and destashing. So let me know if you're interested. I know these things still sell for a pretty good amount and they still sell them right now. Right? So that's why I'm like, Ugh. I don't, I, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. Let me know whoever's interested in letterpress. I asked that the other day about the Gemini Go and I got a lot of people emailing or asking about it. So um, I will definitely let you guys know if I de-stash or sell that. But for right now, I guess all this stuff is going back up because I don't know what to do with it. So I will be right back with the next. Okay, tub. I'm gonna skip the kits right now because 
this is what I was wanting to dig through anyway, so I want to get this done just to get this video done. And then, of course, we'll do a few buckets at a time or baskets, whatever you want to call them. I'm getting really hot in here. <laughs> so, Recollections watercolor crayons. These are kind of thick, chubby sticks, and you kind of mess with them and play however you want. So that's what those kind of things are. These I picked up not that long ago, but is it wet? Oh, did they leak? Something looks wrong here. <laughs> no. That's weird. The case, I mean, well, obviously, okay, it's artsy, so it's colored, but it looked like it, it was messed up. But no, that's just the, the outside of the packaging. Let's go through this and at least refresh my memory for what's in here, because, ooh, there's a lot. It's hot right now. All right. Metallic watercolors. I think I used these not too long ago. They're really great. Um, so I really like those dual tip watercolor pens from Santoro London, which are adorable. I should keep these on my desk. So I use them more often. I mean, I'm going to keep those there because they're so small. Like it's something I keep. This is the kind of stuff I was looking for. I'm like, I know I have some of these fancy things that <laughs> look at, I don't even know what this is. You know what? This one's the opened or what? Maybe I can wet it and get it reconstituted. Yeah, that's weird because the other ones look creamy. This thing must've just opened up. The other ones look nice. This has completely dried out. So twinkling H2Os. I will definitely try and use these more often. Remember that I have something like this because this is not cheap, but at the same time, I want to try them. All right. I remember I was so happy when I found all the colors of the distress crayons. I have not used them. How do you guys use your distress crayons? Let me know uh, in the comments, please. And then this was a watercolor kit of the Distressed Crayons I picked up not that long ago because it has instructions in it. So I thought, oh, this will be good. I know there's lots of videos out there, but um, I can only, you know, I have so much bandwidth in the day. <laughs> like I can't sit and watch tons of videos all the time to try and see if that person happens to address what I'm thinking about. So this was good. And I think I got it with a coupon there at Hobby Lobby. So those all stay together. Okay, so what I realized about this the other day, I had shown you guys one in one of my expo bags. These are Stamper's Big Brush Pens. So basically, you should have like a million of these. These are obviously on clearance, it says. Um, and you have your stamp. I don't have a stamp to show you right now. But let's say you have your stamp and all you do is you brush this on there and you stamp with it. So it's basically like ink, but a little different. Uh, archival Waterproof Odorless India Black Ink. So I'm gonna just open this one and put it with the rest of them. I have only like four or five of them, but I will put those all together. My Vicky Button uh, crayons, which are really fun, I've used several times. A receipt from Walmart that I'm sure is a million years old. How old is this? Let's see. Oh, isn't that old? It's from San Marcos. So it's from December 2019. That's not that long ago. All right, we'll see. <laughs> I don't know why I would have put that in here, but I did. Uh, watercolor pencils from um, Prima. This one's a 12, they're both 12 piece sets. This one feels thicker, I guess, just because the way it's wrapped. Or it has information, so that's good. Um, I had bought tons of these. I even destashed some of them. Um, so pretty, super pretty, but I have not used them. So I need to, I have a lot of their, um, you know what I'll do? Well, no, this is why I put things together. These are all my watercolor stuff, right? Or markers, or I guess markers is what I put on the box, but I have their pans too, which I know are not cheap. And I bought them on purpose because obviously I want to try them out. Never really got around to it. <laughs> um, this is mix and match all red Faber Castell pencils. Um, I'm assuming these are watercolor? No, I think they're just pencils. I'm gonna give these to Dorian. Um, oh, here are the mark Sharpies. Remember I told you guys I wanted to find my metallic Sharpies? There's some in here. What else do I have in here that you guys are peeking at before I can even see? Oh, look at Cricut tools, replacement blades. I have no business being in here, so I'll put those over there. I'll put this somewhere else. This is what I was looking for. So I was looking for those fancy things, but I was looking for this stuff. These are... Those perfect pearls, or what do they call them? Yes. Never used them by Ranger. Not cheap. So, you know, I bought them, you know, with coupons here and there. And, and then I put them in this thing. So they're all together. And, oh, look at that. I even have the perfect medium is in here with them. Which something happened because I can, ugh, look at that. Some, that's not, that can't be the perfect medium, do you think? There's like some stickiness. Ew. Weird. It doesn't smell bad. <laughs> but okay, so there's that. I have perfect, me perfect medium brushes and pens and then the brushes that go with it. So something that's not perfect medium. I don't know what happened here. I'm going to clean this off. But um, I saw Lavinia Stamps using this in a really pretty way. And I'm like, I need to find my perfect pearls. Where are they? <laughs> so here they are. 
Um, I knew they were here. I just didn't want to go through everything on my own. I wanted you guys to see because I know you guys are like, yeah, show us the stuff. So recently I saw Crafters Companion using these things again. Uh, the art liners and the tutorial for making your own calligraphy, right? So it kind of helps you train to write better. Um, they're okay. And then that's the thing. These are art liners. They're not... There's one brush pen in here. And these are all brush pens. And they're colorful. So, okay. At least there's that. Um, what is in here? Memento. Are these water-based markers? Some of these are really old, I can tell. Let me see here. Oh, that works like a charm, though. This is metallic marker from American Crafts. It, you know, kind of inexpensive. Um, this is so cute. I'm a sucker for things like this. So this is from Allard's. This is a place I used to go to in Fresno all the time. It was like a pen store, and hopefully they're still there. God bless them. They've been around for a long time, but they do like fountain pens and beautiful like art stuff. Basically, it's art supply. And um, I really like the company. They've been around forever. So let me see here. Look at that. Everything in here is still juicy, juicy. This is more of a writing pen, so not so much a water marker. But I have my Ranger Distress Markers in here. They're all in here. Pretty much all the colors available are in here and some memento in cute colors. So I will definitely be using this very soon because, like I said, I'm trying to get into doing a little more watercoloring. And when I say watercoloring, I'm talking about the cheater way. I'm not talking about actual watercoloring. Um, I'm talking about watering down some markers <laughs> and going from there. Uh, what else do we have in here? Mica powder. Finnabar. Oh, this is a Prima. I just thought these were pretty. That's a lot of mica powder, so I need to learn how to use these better so I can use them up. Okay, what else do we have in here? Tons of Sharpies. Yeah. I might give these to Dorian. I don't know that I need these. I have tons of packs of Sharpies. Not that I should give a 10-year-old Sharpies, but he can do his little artwork in his books with it. Um, water brush pens. These are just inexpensive ones I wanted to try out. Um, watercolor pod by the brand is Start. That seems weird. So these are watercolor pencils. This is probably Miranda's. I'm not sure how or why it's in here, but sometimes what happens is people make videos and they use like junky watercolors and I'm always curious. I'm like, oh, do they work? But this is really Miranda's. So I'm going to put that over with her. She loves watercoloring. Like, she watercolors pretty much every day. Uh, neon Sharpies, I'm going to open that up and put it with the rest of the Sharpies. And these two. Those don't deserve to be in here with the fine things. Um, did I already go through one of these? I think I already showed you guys one of these, huh? So I will just stash that. More, see, I told you I had more Sharpies. Here's another set. Uh, maybe, eh, we'll see. I might have to put those somewhere else. That way I know what's in here is just like these kind of things, you know. Artist Watercolor Essentials Royal Lang Nickel. Oh, I wonder what kind of pens... Um, wait, is this an actual set? This is only $6.99. <laughs> yeah, I wonder what size brush it has, though. I was looking for a 1 or a 0. It just says Teclon Round, but it doesn't say the size. Interesting. I have to look at this because I will probably need deals very soon. And then we have some Derwent watercolors. So what happens is I like to try out different brands and see what's up. Um, Derwent's an excellent brand, obviously, so these are probably a really nice set, so I'll keep that there. Um, and what's in here? Oh, yeah. This is just a mishmash of Prismacolor pens. They're probably dried out. I wouldn't be surprised if these are dried out. Pro markers, let me see. I can smell it. It's not dried out. These are interesting. These are one of the first iterations of, like, markers that I would use. So, that's cool. Um, some of them are like alcoholic markers. I don't know if they all are. This one I can't tell. But, okay. So I have those in here. In a Curves uh, lunchbox. <laughs> I never went to Curves, but I think I got this from, uh, what's that thing called? Um, Avon. Yeah, okay. And then just some other marker packs here. So I think that's all I'm going to do today, guys. What? Hold on. Okay, so we have these guys. So all these things I literally have picked up at Expos. And they were either in a class pack or they were free. Or not free, but like super cheap. Because this might even come from HSN. So we have the Mix and Match Mix Media Sampler for the red, for blue, for gold and yellow. Which obviously I used one of them. <laughs> oh, I used a couple here. For blue and green. And for green. And then the 
gesso and gel mediums and glazes and metallic gelatos that go along with it. So I will keep this still together because that's important. And that's it. So I'm going to put everything back. I mean, there's some other little random things in here, zig markers and stuff like that, but not the biggest deal. Um, I probably may still change my mind about some of these things and go ahead and de-stash, but uh, that's it for today. I was looking for those ranger items so we can have some fun with some different things and um thanks for watching guys i'm sorry i didn't do a lot of these stash but we did do some at least knowing where things are let me know what you guys think about the letterpress to be honest i'm probably ready to let it go but um it would be all of it uh probably not the machine because it's so heavy i don't know how i can ship that and i don't want the handle to break so it would be uh the letterpress kits like kind of the stuff i showed you there um with the starter kit that's you know still in its box and i do see that you can run those same plates for the letterpress uh the little uh letterpress stuff itself through your cuddle bug through a big shot it's the same and it just presses that indentation into your paper but anyway um that's up to you all right thanks for watching guys i'll see you at the next one bye now